Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome indeed. So, like the title says, do not make a secondary character or an alt or another class in Diablo yet. And the reason why I say yet is because there is going to be a new feature coming out very soon that will actually let you change your class. So maybe if you rolled one character class and you're like, you know what, I kind of want to go play Necromancer, or I'm tired of my Necromancer, I want to go play Demon Hunter. Whatever the case may be, this video is going to be for you. And the reason why is because not only do you have to re-level up your character, but all of your gems that you would have, all your ranks on your pieces of gear that you've been upgrading, all of that won't transfer over to your other character because, well, it's a new character. But in addition to that, in Diablo Immortal, paragons don't transfer over. If you play Diablo 3, you're like, well, I can just make a new character and I can put them all my paragon points. No, that's not the case. Each character has their own individual like stash, all of that stuff. So that's kind of one reason why you wouldn't want to do it. But now with this new feature that I'm about to get into and explain, um, it's going to be much easier and it's going to be much more friendly for you guys that want to play a different class because I myself, as a content creator, I want to play all of the classes so I can give you guys builds and stuff like that. So first off, this is an official post over on the News Blizzard website. I'll link it down below, but I'm not going to read every single thing here. I'm just going to go over like the too long, didn't read, just going over the important stuff. So first off, um, this is going to be coming out very soon. So over here under class change, I highlighted over here, it says Diablo games have always feature a rich variety of classes with different playstyles and fantasies. This leads to a conflict. You want to play every class, but you don't want to hinder your character's progress to try them all. How can you, we let you do both? Our solution arriving shortly after Diablo Immortal launches, class change. My guess is, I mean, they're saying shortly after it launches, which may be season two or season three. Um, but the thing is, is that it takes a long time. I'm sure any of you guys that have grinded up to like Paragon 30 plus, it takes a really long time. And on top of that, you want to transfer over your your legendary gems especially if you've gotten lucky and maybe gotten a five star gem yeah if you make a new character you don't have access to transferring that gem i mean if i could transfer the gem that's all i really need at the end of the day for me but grinding the paragons it's a long long grind right and i'm sure a lot of you guys that play the campaign like in the middle of the campaign it's like okay now reach this level it just takes a long time to min max versus like if you've played diablo 3 you can just have a front power level your new character and you can just like equip all of your stuff um real easy right but in diablo mortal it's not the case but with this new system it's going to be awesome so let's go ahead and hop right into it so they say over here in west march you'll be able to change your existing character to a new class and a new visual customization they show off some pictures so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys them this is kind of like i guess a sneak peek at maybe what's coming in terms of like new skins i don't know if, if you transfer over like one character skin or if it's something that you need to like uh, acquire in the game and then you can do it i don't really know but i'm here just to show you guys all the info um some of these uh, by the way are dealt with resonance so it's showing you like the resonance level i believe this one over here is the necromancer and then this one I, I think is going to be uh, for a Barbarian. It looks pretty cool indeed as well. And then this one looks like it's going to be the Crusader. And then we also have the pictures of the Demon Hunter. So I'm not sure, again, if you transfer over, like if you just get the skin or what's the case. They don't really dig too much into it, but there's uh, extra info on this. So they say under the class change in Westmarch, you'll be able to change your existing character into a new class uh, with new visual customization. But it also says when you change your class, you'll retain your progress and Paragon levels which is amazing i'm not sure how you guys feel about this but i feel like paragon should just be universal like if you play diablo 3 um like if you get paragon a thousand whatever when you make a new character you can immediately put those paragon points in so it kind of incentivizes you to make new characters however with diablo mortal maybe they don't want you to do that maybe they just want you to have one character that way you don't have to manage like your friends list and also all the different things that go along with just a new character in this game there's also the vessels like diablo mortal has a lot more complexity to uh your character progression and it just takes a lot Lot longer right to max out versus in d3 like you can just get a max level character and then put on your paragon points and start farming for the legendary sets but on top of that they will also uh, give you a new set of equipped items appropriate for your new class so that is pretty cool as well and you can keep everything so you can transfer all of your progression and gems and this is the most important thing the gems none of your equipped items or stash will be lost and all your progress on the herodric vessels and the heliquary will stick around too so like again with the Helicarry, the Scoria, like it, it just takes a long time to grind all of it, plus all the challenge rift stuffs. So um, that is going to be quite nice. They also mentioned that you're gonna need to start collecting legendary items specific to your new class, but that's part of it. And like, I'm okay with this. I'm curious to know how you guys feel about that. Like, should they give you a full set of pieces of gear for your new class? I don't think so. Cause I think that that would be too easy. And I think that it's totally fine in terms of progression. Um, as long as it's not like requiring us to re get those gems as drops, that's okay with me personally. But then on top of that, 
They said that we didn't uh, want to force our players into the hard choice of giving up progress on their main characters uh, to support an alt. So you don't have to worry about this um, in terms of like maybe them not wanting us to create an alt, but like I kind of like the idea of having another character. I just wish I could transfer over the gems again in Paragon. If we let us transfer over the gems Paragon, I think the uh, Herodric uh, like vessel thing, those should just be like global on your account. And I'm curious to know how you guys feel about that. Um, let me know down below as well. But they also mentioned over here, that they want your original class selection to be a meaningful choice, not something uh, you change session by session. We're all, uh, so we're discussing limits to the system that will still give you freedom to try out new classes as we release new content. Uh, also in the post, let me actually control F this, they actually mention that you can uh, change back. All right, here it is. So. It says, if you regret the choice, you can activate the class change feature, again, returning to your original class. So for those of you guys that are like, oh, you know, I want to swap classes, is it going to be a permanent change? The answer is no, you can go back to your original class. Now, going at the very end over here, they mentioned that they're going to make it so you can't just change it session by session. So maybe it's going to be like a seasonal thing, like when there's a new season, you can try a new character, that'd be kind of cool. Or it might be something that you have to acquire via Platinum or in, in the in-game shop. I'm curious to know how you guys feel about that. I think they should let us swap at least one time for free, and then if it's a thing that we have to get in the store to like swap classes, um, after like the, you know, we get like one a month or whatever the case may be, let me know guys how you feel about like, uh, that system but um yeah that's going to be a really awesome feature coming out in the game uh but says the class change won't be in game right when diablo more launches we're hoping to add it shortly therefore in a patch so again it should be coming out pretty soon and uh let me know guys what class you're playing and if you want to swap purposely for me i'm really enjoying my demon hunter but i just want to give you guys content for all the gameplay of all the classes and in diablo immortal it takes a really long time to make a new character so hopefully this video helped you guys out because i didn't know about it while i was streaming someone was telling me that you can change classes and i was like what what are you talking about and this is so amazing that it's coming to the game very very soon but anyways thanks for tuning in, guys if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here and you want to see more gaming stuff in the future hit subscribe to the bell and you'll definitely see more take care and i will see you in the next video peace